What's up friends? Welcome back to Community TV, a place where nurses and aspiring nurses come to achieve academic, career, and life success. In this video, I am out here in the sun for you guys. I'm sweating and I've only been out here for like 60 seconds. I'm already sweating, I'm already dripping in sweat because you know, that's how Texas is. But I'm out here for you guys for a special kind of video, which is what's in a nurse's car truck, okay? That's right, what's in a nurse's car truck? If you guys like this video, you appreciate the effort, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video, okay? Let's go. All right guys, so before we get started and you guys can get nosy and see what's in the trunk of my car, I'm gonna get started by prefacing this video so that you guys kind of understand what's in my car so it kind of makes sense. So I'm an RN, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, first of all, thank you for watching. And for those of you guys who are old to my channel, thank you for watching. I've been an RN for about eight months now and I was an LPN for about seven, eight years. So the jobs I do are kind of various, I vary. I do pediatric home care, I do vaccinations, I do nursing homes and I even do like assessments for insurance companies right now at the moment. So let's dive in to see what do I bring in my bag. Sometimes I work for agencies, sometimes I work for the care app. So if I'm on the go and I decide, hey, I wanna take a shift, I need to be ready, right? So we gotta be ready. I hope you guys get some ideas on what to bring in your car as a nurse or as a CNA, MA, because these items are necessary. The first item I have in my car, of course, is my stethoscope. Okay, sometimes when you are working in a nursing home, or you know, when you're doing your assessments, you need your stethoscope to do your full assessment on your patients, okay? And in this stethoscope case, I have my scissors for cutting like tape and stuff when I'm doing my treatments. I got an extra pen in here. And I can't find my pen light, but I used to have a pen light, but yeah. So I keep my stethoscope in here. I usually, um, there's usually tape in the facility that I work at, so I just take off the stethoscope and that's it, okay? So for those of you guys who have watched my vlogs, you guys know this infamous hat, okay? This infamous sun hat. Well, when I work in the COVID vaccination sites, we work in a hot Texan sun. It's so hot out here. So I definitely need a hat. So I have a visor because I have a really big head, guys. I don't know if y'all noticed. So it's really hard for me to find a hat that um, fits my head. So I don't want it to squeeze it. So that's why I have this nice hat right here. So another thing I have in my trunk of my car is like this, this five file folders, like just in case, I guess. All right, guys, so the next thing in my bag are my nursing shoes. Um, these shoes are essential for me to wear because those of you guys who may not know, I said this before on my channel, but growing up, I had back issues. So I had to do physical therapy and stuff like that. So as an adult, I have to make sure that I wear special shoes when I'm working because I have to stand for long periods of time. So I do implore you guys, if you guys are new nurses or CNAs, wear good shoes because your back is important. So um, especially if you're doing like any heavy lifting or anything. So these are clogs. I've tried every kind of shoe and none of the shoes work as well as these. So and that is my shoes. I don't just put it in my car. I have a bag that I that I lay on the ground of my trunk so that, you know, I don't like transfer any bacteria or anything. Um, until it's time to clean them, of course. Next thing I have, of course, especially with the pandemic going on, is uh, just some masks. The next thing I have is uh, a pair of gloves, just a pair of medium sized gloves because that's the pair of gloves I have. You never know if you have to work in a facility or if I have a home care case where the patient um, doesn't have gloves in the house or something. Some people feel comfortable not using gloves, especially if it's a pediatric case. But for me, I like to wear gloves um, just because, you know, it's nursing. Even if the kid is like so cute and adorable. Next thing I have is just a book. Like I said in my channel, I always encourage you guys to read, even if you finish school, because if you're not improving in your life, like in your brain, then you're dying. Like if you're not improving, you're dying. So if I have downtime, if I'm not watching a YouTube show or something, I would just read a book. So right now there's a book on emotional intelligence. Um, 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Next thing I have here is my ID badge for my staffing agency. Can't show you that. Next thing I have here is a blood pressure cup. It is unopened actually because I have another one in the back seat of my car that just works just fine. So I don't necessarily have to open it, but it's just a blood pressure cuff when you're doing your patient assessments, um, just in case the other one breaks or something, because the other one's kind of old, but it's an upper arm blood pressure monitor. It's not the wrist one, it's the upper arm one. So it's more like accurate. I don't know if that's true, but I feel like it is. <laughs> oh wait, it's not in the back seat of my car, it's right here. See, I have, I have the wrist one right here. Right, another thing I have is of course, you know, when you're working in the facilities, some facilities require you to have an eye shield, so I have this cute pink eye shield. One of the physical therapists gave this to me in the nursing home that I used to work for, so I still keep it, and it's pink because she knows I love pink. I also have two goggles here, just more safety goggles, um, because a lot of nursing homes are starting to require that. I have my camera stand here. I don't usually use it much, but I'm gonna use it, so that's just for vlogging. I have uh, my hand sanitizer, it's with Alo. I have my thermometer, of course. I use this back in nursing school. I have my camera pouch. I have my two. I have my two screens to protect myself again. My two face shields to protect myself, and they're actually unopened. They're brand new. But you know, when you work in facilities, you never know who's stocked up, who's not stocked up. So I like to always stay ready. Okay, in this bag, I have an extra pair of scrubs. You guys know as nurses, we always have to be ready for anything, okay? If a patient throws up at you, if, if a patient, you know, does anything, you want to have a fresh pair of scrubs, okay? So, just in case. So, in this bag I have here from Lakewood Church, I put, not sponsored, but I put this perfume I have. It's a pure moss. Um, it's a oud perfume, um, but I have to reapply it, so I just put it here. It smells so good. It smells like baby. I have tape, just in case they don't have any tape. I wanna, when I want to label my dressings, I have my tape. Another thing I have is my sunglasses case, of course, with some sunglasses. You know, when you're working in those vaccination units, honey, you need sunglasses. And especially as you get older, you want to protect your eyes, you need sunglasses and it prevents you from getting headaches too. Another thing I have here is a my clipboard. I got this in nursing school, I still have it. Just a regular clipboard. Another thing I have is these satin bonnet and shower cap, and don't worry, there's, there's a lesson to this madness. One time I forgot my hair umbrella and I didn't have an umbrella, so, you know, if I have my hair in a straightened hairstyle like this one, of course, I don't wanna get caught in the rain, you know, Houston weather, so. I have this here. I have like a shoe shiner. Um, I also have a stack of water bottles here. I don't know if you can see it. I just like to always keep a case of water bottle in my bag um, to prevent dehydration. That's very important. I have a bag here. It's like my nursing bag. I mean, it's obnoxiously big, but I think I'm going to change it. I have these two shields to protect my car from the sun. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. Next thing I have in my car is a shoe box. In this shoe box, I have flip flops just in case I gotta do my toenails and I don't, I didn't bring any flip flops. And some heels, a nice pair of heels because when I like to go out to events, if I have an unexpected event to go to, I just have a nice pair of regular heels. Actually, these heels are very nice. They're from there by Jessica Simpson and it's so cute okay guys so that's what was in my car trunk I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys keep in your car trunk let me know if you have any suggestions on what I should keep in my car trunk as a nurse I can't wait to see your comments down below thank you for watching bye